Hi there, this is for Taurus. Hey Taurus, rising sign. This is your horoscope for February 2024. If you are listening to this astrology horoscope for Taurus, and let's say you're a Taurus sun sign, you're a Taurus moon, some of this will apply to you, but not all of it. I always recommend when you're looking at any horoscope, look for your rising sign. Then also look for the rising sign after yours. For your, So for you, Taurus, you're looking at the Taurus horoscope for February 2024. I would also look at Gemini. And I would also look uh, for whatever your sun sign or moon sign is as well. It won't be as impactful for certain times, it just really depends on the degree of all of your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, to be honest with you. But it's always smart to look first for your rising sign. What that horoscope says, that would probably be the majority of the accuracy there. Look for the next sign over, you know, because it depends on the de degree. And then look for the sun and the moon. That's kind of what I recommend, for, regardless of which astrologer is doing your horoscope or for these general horoscopes. The most accurate way, of course, is to get a transit reading because that, that way we know exactly where all the transits fall on your birth chart. That is the most accurate. So when you're l listening for these general horoscopes and you're wondering why at times they're not as accurate as other times, it is because these are general horoscopes using a whole house system. It is the only way we can do it for the general masses. Your birth chart, if you are listening to this, is probably based on something like Placidus or some other kind of um, system that uses to the precise degree. So if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Just, <laughs> just enjoy the horoscope. And if you're ever interested and want a more accurate reading, personalized to and customized to your specific life, I do recommend getting a transit reading either by myself or another astrologer out there. Without further ado, this month of February 2024 for you, Taurus, is one about career. And it activates the 10th house and the first house of your birth chart. So I would say that even the way you look or how people are perceiving you, You've had the planet Uranus really affecting you, Taurus rising. And even if you're listening towards sun and moon, the planet Uranus has been really affecting you for a number of years now, ever since it's moved into Taurus. And then you've had Jupiter also affecting you ever since last year, now going into this year, where it will finally leave and move into Gemini. So a lot of activity going on in the universe affecting you. You might have seen some big changes uh, in 2023, 2022. It really depends on the degree. But um, some of you have a change of personality. Uh, maybe you're more sweet than you used to be. Maybe you're more direct than you used to be. Maybe you've changed the, your hair, like the hairstyle. You've cut it differently. You've let it grow or you cut it shorter. Maybe you've uh, dyed it. Maybe you've had a different wardrobe and you have a different kind of style of the way you wear your clothing. And some of you have a change in perspective about like a calling. What really drives you? What do you think is important? So that's all been going on really for all, uh, several years now. But I think it's really heated up last year, 2023, and it will um, heat up even more so this year. Uh, in 2024, because Jupiter is leaving your sign. So as we get that first week, we have Mercury moving into Aquarius. That activates uh, your 10th house. And so it will be with Pluto. The sun is squaring Uranus on the 8th, and then you have a new moon, and then you have Mercury squaring Jupiter. So what we see right away this first week. And again, I wouldn't pay attention to precisely February 4th, February 8th, the 9th, and the 10th and see, well, those events didn't happen. There's a 
a degree orb here. So just because a new moon is on November, uh, February 9th and it does help your career doesn't mean it will show up on February 9th. You could see it as early as February 7th, but the window is usually 36 hours here. And the same goes for the sun squaring Uranus on February 8th. The same goes for Mercury squaring Jupiter on February 10th. So I would look at the first week and even to the second week to see these career changes. But don't always assume because, you know, us astrologers say Mercury square another planet, that that's the exact moment in time. That is only talking about the exact square or the exact conjunction. There's a degree orb. So it can be a few days before, a few days after, or even more than that. But what we do know absolutely that it's time to speak what you believe is, is important for you when it comes to career. Whether you have to do that on social media, whether you have to do that internally so that you're getting your voice out, so that you're taking action later on. You'll be blessed with new ideas when it comes to career, for sure, with that nice Uranus uh, squaring your sun, the sun in your uh, career house. But vice versa, for some of you, uh, Taurus Rising, your career is changing the way people see you. The public recognition or public perception or what you're, what's going on in career may change the way you physically look or the, the way you, your personality is perceived. You know, so that's interesting. You know, and that can happen a million different ways. Just by observing people and, you know, sometimes we change, sometimes we just learn. Sometimes in, <clears throat> when things go our way favorably in public recognition and career, we change our personality to a degree. Maybe we're kinder, maybe more diplomatic, or maybe it's the opposite. We're more direct and blunt and bold. So that's very interesting to see that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised for you, Taurus, to see more money coming your way, but you're one of the signs. It's a little bit bigger picture than that. It's a, it's a little bit more about what is it that's going on in your work life that is career that maybe you don't see it right away in February, but this is positive changes that should last and take and have like a ripple effect for the next few years, if not decades. But it starts with Mercury moving into the Aquarius on February 4th uh, and then having it join Pluto in an exact conjunction. If you've seen any changes with your career since around January the 20th, I will say this. That's Pluto. <clears throat> so I will say this. Pluto is going to be in your career, the area of your life that rules career, for a long time. At most 20 years, it can be less. Okay? Um, so I would say that Pluto will reward you if whatever you're doing for career is exactly in your highest good. Pluto will change and end something when it comes to your work life, your career, that is not in your highest good. So think about that. So if anything is ending in your career life, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It is actually making room for a rebirth and a transformation into something better. So just be patient with that. Once you get into week two, you got Mars then joining your career house. It is time to take action week two. There's a big moment February 13th and February 16th, in my opinion, are the two most important days of the month. So I would say that second week of February is an action-oriented time, and it's a time that favors you more than any other sign because you got Venus moving into your career house, and then you have Pluto joining Venus or Venus joining Pluto there uh, the next day. But what happens here at week two is this is the moment in time where all the planets are in the stellium of Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. I'm including the North Node and Chiron, but if, you, if you're wondering, but if you're not sure what that means, let me just say that February 16th, the energy in the world for all of us and as individuals shifts big time. 
So this could, this will definitely be a major time of changes globally. And you as an individual, Taurus rising, will start to see things probably go favorably in your in so let's say you got the right career you love what you do and it is in your highest good you definitely can see some great changes coming your way you might have seen some things really be annoying since january 20th but i believe once you get to the second week of february there could be a lot i mean there could be more money coming your way you can finally get some recognition like uh going viral you could be <laughs> be a celebrity you could be offered uh, some sort of modeling position um you could be in the newspaper you could just start to get more clients you could start to get a promotion you can start getting respect in the workplace there's a lot of things that could go right once you get to the second week of february primarily after february the 16th and going forward all the way until venus leaves Aquarius. So there's this sweet window here, February 11th through the end of the month, where really uh, it's time for you to take action when it comes to career. So you get to that, uh, you know, Mercury squaring Uranus there. It, it's on February 16th as well. There is this theme that the universe is saying you got to speak up for yourself and career. If you're asked to do any presentations, especially the first or second week of February, say yes in career. If you're asked to be a speaker in any way, shape, or form for career, say yes. If you're asked to do any writing, say yes. If you're asked to do social media, say yes. Whatever it is, uh, maybe, I, I don't know if I would say teaching or helping necessarily. I'm not really, really leaning towards that. Um, I would say you have to decide on that. I kind of feel like this is more of your time to shine rather than you helping somebody else, to be honest with you. That feels like the energy right for me. If you do anything, um, oh, by the way, if you're single, it is definitely possible that you can meet a new romantic partner that is related to your career. So be on the lookout for that. To get into that third week, this is where the energy starts to shift because sun moves into Pisces, and that is activating the area of your chart that rules community on February 18th. It's going to, you're not really going to see a lot of changes quite yet until you get into March when it comes to that. But I would say be social if you can, and remember that you can be an important impact. You do have an important impact when it comes to groups of people, humanity, society, even any organizations that you work for. So think about that. And if there is any opportunity to help in that way, say yes. Venus is an exact conjunction with Mars, the 21st. But I got to tell you, in some degree around the world, we do see relationships really start to heat up in a positive way and really thrive. But uh, for you, this is more career oriented. Um, but I, but I would say if you are single and you're looking for someone that third week of February, February 18th through 24th could be another moment in time where you see yourself really attracted to or interested in someone in the workplace or that does a similar career. They may, may not work with you, but they do the similar type of job that you do. Mercury then moves into Pisces. So we're starting to see your, your, um, career energy start to leave so i would say really focus on career the first three weeks of february i mean really go all in all in because once you get to the end of this month that is going to really change so you're going to see lots of changes uh, around that third week february 18th you get to the full moon um on the 24th and so you can start to see a little bit more fun that could be another you know romance could start to really heat up for you if you are in a relationship i would say that it's a good time week three february 18th through the 24th around that full moon and week four to go on dates to really put yourself into romance mode 
uh, really be assertive in that. If you want to be sort of lazy <laughs> with your romantic life, you can do so the first two weeks. But once you get to that third and fourth week of February, um, I know Valentine's Day is that second week. But I really think it's fun time and it's time to have fun if you have pets or kids. Week three, week four is a good time for your children and your pets and have fun with them. If you're thinking about vacation in February, I'd wait till week three and, and, and week four of February to go on vacation. That will be more favorable for you. Um, I really don't even think it's that much of a vacation month for you. I think it's other months, to be honest. So I would wait. Um... You have Venus squaring Jupiter. Again, a little bit of the 10th house activity is still lingering in your career. But I would say dominantly those first two weeks is very much career oriented. Week three, week four, you're going to start to see some changes for you. Some possible moment of money coming your way could be a, that fourth week with Mars squaring Jupiter, especially if you're self-employed. So consider that as well. And then we have... The Sun with Mercury and Saturn all in an exact conjunction that uh, February 28th. Eh, uh, it's possible that you'll be put in position where you're social more or you're making an impact or making decisions when it comes to community. Uh, um, if you belong to an online community, then February 28th that or week four, February 25th through the 29th and the first few days of March, that's where I would put myself out there and get involved with an organization, a worthy cause, um, your vibe tribe. Or, you know, if you have if you are an employee and they ask you to do some something that could be potentially fun, then I would say yes with that. Thank you so much, Taurus, and happy February 2024.